Hey everybody, I just wanted to do a really quick video to kind of show you a couple things with the masks. And this goes with any mask that you get, not just mine. Um, so when you get them and you put them on and then you're like, boy, that's like really loose. Like it's going to come down off my face. So <laughs> this is what happens, right? And this is how you see people in the store, which is like, why bother wearing a mask if you're going to wear it like this and then it's going to talk and it's going to come down, right? So, when you put your mask on, put it on like this and adjust it down here and then the wire here, you want to conform it. Now mine goes all the way across, but you want to conform this wire across your nose and if it goes all the way across across your cheeks that way when you talk it doesn't come off your face so you have complete coverage and you're not walking around Walmart having people stare at you like what are you doing so that's how you do that make sure you adjust this nose piece because even if you don't like if you don't adjust this nose piece it's gonna feel super loose around the ears I mean, it is loose a little bit. Like, you can see I have, like, a lot of, a lot of give. But this, this nose piece right here is what helps you out with the, with the snugness and staying whenever you talk. And the second thing is, I wanted to show you how to adjust the strap. So if you get any kind of mask like this that has the straps like this on the side that's not, like, attached, like, sewn into the mask, you can actually adjust the tightness of your elastic. So you want to take one side and kind of like pull it out. So you'll see this little knot that comes out. Everybody has one of these. Like if you get somebody that has a homemade mask like this, you're going to have a knot in the elastic. Elastic stretches, it gets loose. It, that's just what it does. So, and also when you make masks, it's a standard size unless you get like a request, hey, I have a smaller face, can you make them a little bit tighter? But usually it's a standard cut of nine inches. That's usually the, the length of this that you cut. And the reason it's nine inches is because you lose a little bit with the knot. But if you take this, if, if it wants to stay in my hands, you take this and then just make another knot, right? I'm not going to do that because it fits me okay. But that's how you do that. And then to get the knot back in, you pull it on the other side. Voila, magical disappearing act. Okay, so that's how you tighten your elastic. That's how you tighten the mask to your face. So that's what you want to do to get a really good fit for your face. Because like I said, masks are usually standard. Um, <clears throat> you know, I, unfortunately, a lot of people do complain about them being loose. That's how you fix those problems. Hopefully that can help somebody out. Um, like I said, no matter if you purchase mine or somebody else's that looks like that, you can adjust the straps. You can adjust the nose piece if there's a nose piece in there. That's what keeps it on your face. Okay, so good luck. Stay safe, everybody, and make sure you adjust your masks and wear them above your nose.